Hello, in this video we're going to be covering introducing yourself in an online course and also ways that you can have students introduce each other. It is important that you have a presence in your online course and that students get to meet you because it's unlikely that you're going to be seeing them face to face. And research shows that the more that an instructor's presence and personality is shown in an online course, the higher the achievement of the students and the more persistence that they have. So some ideas about your introduction is to include your professional background, how long you've taught at Rutgers. If you're going to have a static introduction, meaning it's just going to be text, maybe you want to include your photo. And of course, any other kind of personal information you would like to share. It's also a good idea to add some contact information. So it's another way that students have an understanding that they will be able to reach you if they need you. And like I did in the our course introduction, maybe you want to do a video introduction. It's a great way to personalize yourself to the students and they can actually feel like they're getting to know you. So those are some ideas. Here is just a generic static instructor introduction where you would post your photo and then you would have your contact information. You would also then have a little bit about yourself if you desire to go that route. Now equally important is to build a sense of community amongst the students. So it's important that students introduce each other uh, at the beginning of the class. So what you want to do is again, as we have modeled in this course, is you want to set up a discussion board where students need to introduce themselves to everybody and interact with each other. So what you want to do is you want to set the parameters and you want to have students make their fir first posting about midway through the first week and then ask them to reply to as many as you like. I usually do to reply to at least two other students in the course by the end of the module period. And don't just set up a discussion board and say introduce yourself because students need to have a lot more uh, structure. So ask them to provide their major, why are they taking the course, if they've had any experience as an online student, and then, of course, any other kind of personal information they would want to share. I have had students who have never met each other, but they have found things in common, which also helps to build that sense of community. It's also a good idea to have them uh, set up an avatar or a photo, and you can do that too, so that every time somebody's posting in the course, they can place a a face along with what is being posted and instructions are going to be posted in our Blackboard course on how to do that. Okay, thank you.